Morris chip. And it won't be long. Fitzgerald on the outside, Morris on the inside. Up side by side, holding hands up over the big ski jump, up and down. Fitzgerald out in the front. Quentin Tucker in the third spot, Dave Mason Jr., Kurt Geert, followed by Jeffrey Cooley, as we like to call some of our usual suspects. Yeah, talk about Kurt Gear up there, Green Army, first in points, coming in this weekend, tight race. Dave Mason Jr., only 15 back, Quentin Tucker, only one back from him. Top three, still open. That's right. Kevin Davis, their fearless leader in-house. Talking about famous people. Well, down the back stretch, there they go. That is Bradley Morris in the lead. John Fitzgerald behind him. Quentin Tucker, Dave Mason Jr., Kurt Gear, the Green Army, rounding out our top five. Brought to you by GoPro. Be a hero. Not only, you know, Bradley Morris coming in the class, has a win in the class yes, this year. Yes, he does. Bradley Morris and the Lucas Oil Club. Oh, problems with Fitzgerald. It looks like he might have missed a gear because he's back underway. That's right. Quentin Tucker's going to take that opportunity and capitalize it as he moves into second place. But Fitzgerald wants the answer right back. He's going to have the outside line. See if he's going to check up and go in, outside, inside. But nope, scrubs a little momentum away. Kind of utilize, keeping that speed up and maybe try to set it up a turn or two down the road. We talked about what a driver's class this is, these so evenly powered, you know. When you have a little hiccup, it takes a while to get back in the groove. You can't just step on the gas and wheelie by the guy next to you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> exactly. They don't have a lot of bottom end torque there. It's all momentum like you talked about. You want to be smooth. You want to hit your apexes. You don't want to scrub the speed off. You want good exit speed. Talk about great exit speed, Bradley Morris right now. And you can see that John Fitzgerald holding on to second. Quentin Tucker slides back to third. And I just noticed Fitzgerald running the Jeff and Rick Huseman number one on the side. So great to see that on so many of the vehicles out there. There's another one of our young drivers out there also, Zach Hunt. Talk about Lindsey Geyser also in the candidate machine. The Geyser name pretty well known in off-road. Yeah. Heard of him once or twice. <laughs> Got some good shots of their Pro 2 in practice yesterday. Yes, that's right. The Canada machine. And it looks like Fitzgerald still holding on to fast lap as they come around. Quinn Tucker, though, only two tenths of a second. And how about this? Almost two, yeah, two tenths of a second between Quinn Tucker and Dave Mason Jr. Here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, this custom-built track, always one of Tony Vanello's grades that he puts together out here, 1.1 miles out here. It's one of our little bit bigger tracks, but it's also a very technical track. Definitely germane to the situation as we look back up front. And there's the competition, yellow. Time to re-rack them, re-stack them, and re-fire them. The Toyota Tundra Pace Truck, Optima Batteries has pulled off the track, single file. Bradley Morris will lead it to the line and take the green flag one more time. And look at this, Dave Mason jumps up into that third spot, Fitzgerald sliding back. Kurt Gear now moving up there on the inside, trying to take fourth away from Fitzgerald. Those two have battled many times over the years. But the youngsters up front, how about that? Morris, Tucker, and Mason. Mason Motorsports. Fitzgerald riding the rail up there, holding on to fourth Kurt Gear. And he's getting some uh, little bump there from Bruce Fraley.
Kevin McCullough. Oh, gonna get contact. Zach, huh? Right when you mentioned it, we got cars over, back down. Wow, that was a good trick. And it looks like, I do believe, Fraley and uh, Gear got tied up in that. Did you kiss a death him? No. Sheesh. No, everybody I mentioned first made it through. <laughs> <laughs> Right down there, heading into that team associated turn number four down there. Well, our leaders now making the leap out of the abyss as they come into the S section, heading into the final turn as they come around. It is Bradley Morris, our leader, the Lucas Oil Canon sponsor, followed by Quentin Tucker behind them, trying to get some more RPMs and horsepower coming up here. But how about that? That's the youngsters of the class, the ones yeah. who watched it grew into it. Zach Hunt, another one into fourth. Yep. Our four youngest drivers out there pretty much, I do believe, leading the pack. And that's a bummer. Fitzgerald back there. Kurt here moving up through, uh, getting by. Lindsey Geyser trying to make a pass there. Well, they say if you go a little too high on that turn, you hit that jump, you're heading right for a wall, so you don't want to do that. you got to time it, set yourself up. And, folks, pay attention later on. Some of the bigger truck categories, they set it up completely different coming through there in the two-wheel drives versus the Pro 4s, That's which right. you will see next after opening ceremony. That's right, and I want to thank everybody for coming up and showing up. We're moments away from opening ceremonies. Morris back out to the lead, and it looks like Mason. Oh, in contact with Tucker. Not good in open wheel racing. <laughs> Not at all. Did not benefit any one of them right there. But this is the Magnifo Las Vegas Nationals presented by GoPro. Leader into turn number six. That is still Bradley Morris. I should say Bradley Morris again after yes. swapping back and forth there with Quinton. Now Quinton Tucker, Dave Mason slid back just a little before, uh, farther than they want to right now. Because I'll tell you, Bradley Morris, that young man, you let him loose, you ain't going to catch him. The white flag, Jim, comes out. Either that or he's surrendering, I'm not sure. You know, the white flag isn't so white anymore. Yeah, I know. It's like an off-road race here or something. It's kind of like the gray flag now. I don't know. We might need to get a new one. I think we might be looking for a tight sponsorship soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the rest of the pack getting the white flag. Fitzgerald getting it now with our leaders coming up and around. Well, if you look up in the top right-hand side of the track, we're going into the candidate turn. That is our leader. Bradley Morris flying the Lucas Oil and can in on the side of it. Looking for a win here in Las Vegas, here for the Magnaflow Las Vegas Nationals. Got to wonder if he's got that GoPro in there, getting that shot of the win, if he can make it here. Oh, what a bummer. Quentin Tucker pulling off. Not sure what happened, but that was the last lap. Why would you do it? Black flag, he had to serve a penalty. Must have been, yes. Yeah. And here, coming across the tank, that checkered flag, it will be the 304 of Bradley Morris. But how about that? Dave Mason Jr. And my goodness, the speed energy of Zach Hunt coming across. That's our three youngest drivers. We saw them come out of carts. Now they're in limited buggy. Now they're on the podium together. Yeah. <laughs>